Picture a short, nerdy Canadian. Yeah, that's what I was picturing too. Jeffrey Pumpernickel Nipper III, natural bodybuilder, app developer, diet coach, and podcaster. I've spent the past two months worshiping at the altar of his oversized lats with all things Jeff Nippard. I did his hypertrophy program. I read his body recomposition textbook, and I used his calorie tracking app. Coming in at $165, did I regret this purchase as much as the time I bought Dogecoin last November? Or was it a brilliant investment, like the time I bought $1,000 of Dogecoin this March? I'm gonna cover all of that in this video. But first, let's start with the training program. So I'm just warming up here. There's a pretty detailed warm-up sequence in the program. So this is step one of it, just walking on an incline treadmill. And now the most important one. It's pretty easy to remember because I need to put the weight rack at 69. So I'm doing week seven of his upper lower body split. He has three different splits that you can do and you could run through one split and then another. But there's a full body split, an upper lower split, and then a body part split. All right, warm up set. This is the first time I've done an upper lower split and I really like it. So obviously today is a lower body day, but what you're gonna see is that there's high intentionality through every detail of this program. I'm starting out with the biggest, most compound movements when my body is really fresh and has lots of energy in it. And then I'm going to go into more and more specific movements focused on smaller and smaller muscles as I get more fatigued through the workout. And this is a great way to prevent injury and just a good way to set up an exercise routine. He also outlines a warm-up program for all of the big compound lifts like squats, deadlifts, and bench press. Now this is a great program to not get injured to. And now we play the waiting game. The rest times in this program are pretty long, which is gonna give you a good time to recover between sets because your focus here is maximizing muscle build. So you wanna ensure proper recovery between sets so that you can go to the maximum weight each time you're hitting the gym. Set two. All of the workouts here, you're not going all out. There's... <sighs> for all of the workouts here, you're not going all out. You're doing what's called RPE. That stands for Rate of Perceived Exertion, which is something my wife says I could improve on date nights. Most of the things are in the RPE seven to nine range, which means that you're challenging yourself, like you have three reps in the tank, which would be RPE seven, or RPE nine, which is like you're almost going to failure. This one's at RPE eight, so I'm challenging myself quite a bit, but I should have two reps left in the tank afterwards. Hopefully through the program, the RPE gets lower as you're doing the same weights, so you end up increasing the weights. Progressive overload. That's the technical term for increasing your weights over time. <laughs> It's totally okay to use protection, especially when you're doing hip thrusts. <laughs> yeah, I really liked that one. Yeah, I don't really know anymore how to feel something again. Think I'm just scared of falling. Don't wanna go yeah, so with that last set, I was supposed to have an RPE of eight, but it felt kind of easy, which is why I went up and wait. So we're gonna see if this is RPE eight. I got more in me, for sure. You want your squats and deadlifts to blow up and yet your hip thrusts are what goes up in weight. The next exercise is Romanian deadlifts. Last week, I ended up decreasing my weight on RDLs by like 30 kilos because I noticed that my range of motion was a lot smaller. So I just moved back to perfect the form. And there's nothing wrong with that. You don't need to be egoic in the gym. 
If you need to decrease the weight and you know go with a relatively low weight for an exercise you thought you were strong in, just to perfect the form, it's worth it in the long term. There's no point in doing really heavy weights at small ranges of motion in a way that's gonna injure you. But that's my two minute rant for why I'm doing such low weight for a Romanian deadlift. I still really feel that in the hamstrings. So now we've pretty much hit all the big muscle groups we're gonna do today, and now we're moving towards more focused work. So now I'm doing three sets of eight leg curls, and the rest times also go down as you're moving towards more focused exercises. There's intention to every single detail of this workout program. Anyways, let's destroy some hamstrings. Today's not a great example, but typically, like when I'm doing an upper body day, I'll be moving from a chest exercise to a back exercise to biceps to triceps. So you're alternating between the four forward and back side of your body just to give a little extra rest, which I think is a pretty cool detail. And now the most important detail, the most important part of leg curls, cleaning up after yourself. Listen to this, it's like a DJ. My gym doesn't have a standing calf raise machine, so I just use this Smith bar put some weights on that, and then I have an elevated platform. It works just fine. Next exercise is hanging leg raises. And this is my one critique with this program. There's typically only two ab exercises per week. This program never has you training your abs to failure, but I've never had a problem training my abs to failure three times a week. That's what I've typically done for the past year or two. It's a small enough muscle group and it repairs really quickly that I don't think there's an issue with training your abs to failure. Last set. Booty baby. Oh, that gives me a whole new level of respect for Instagram butt models. Oh. The total workout time is typically between an hour and an hour and 20 minutes, including the warm up. So it's not super quick. Today was an hour and 15 minutes. So, how did my physique change after eight weeks of this program? I'll get to that soon, but first, diet programs. A cesspool of confusion and contradiction. Some PhDs argue that animal products are the primary driver of death in Americans, and they back it up with spurious and highly biased data. Other PhDs argue that dieting itself is literally impossible, and back that up with equally sketchy data. Highly researched idiocy abounds. But amidst the vitriol and cult-like followings emerges Jeff Nippard's ultimate guide to body recomposition. It narrowly focuses on how to decrease your body fat while increasing your lean muscle mass. Which, let's face it, is why pretty much all of us care about diet in the first place. But I'd argue that if you follow the tenets of this book, you won't just look better, you'll feel better too. I think the biggest challenge with this book is that it's a hyper-complex tome. Coming in at 262 pages of dense scientific information, I've read this book three times and every single time realized that I missed key details. And this is the central weakness of this book as a guide to your diet. This book undoubtedly gives you science-backed guidance on how to build fat and lose muscle. But translating it from the page into an actual game plan is hard as hell. This is the exact opposite of the Athlean X meal plan. The Athlean X meal plan is like eat oats and Greek yogurt for breakfast. Then for lunch, eat beef, potatoes, and veggies. The guidance here is more like, for your pre-workout meal, eat one gram of low glycemic carbohydrates per kilogram of body weight, but decrease that amount if you're eating closer to your time of workout and increase that amount for longer duration workouts. Jeffy Jeff covers pretty much every possible scenario and adds caveats for that. But that makes it really complex to walk away from each chapter and be like, okay, this is what I'm gonna have for lunch tomorrow then. It's possible, he gives you all the information. It's just hard as hell. The chapter of this book I found the most useful was the one on supplements. They go through a list of supplements with a strong scientific basis of effectiveness. And they even order them by tiers of quality of evidence and effect. 
Buying this book would actually probably be a cost saving for a lot of gym bros just by saving them from buying BS supplements. But if the diet plan is hard as hell to implement, then wouldn't it be easier as an app? I'm glad you asked. While the Macro Factors app doesn't guide you through all the details in the Ultimate Guide to Body Recomposition, it definitely helps. Macro Factors helps you track your calories and, you guessed it, your macros. They don't currently have a poop tracker, but that feature is under consideration. So it's not perfect yet. Anyways, we're already 10 minutes into this video and I've covered the Macro Factors app in detail in my calorie tracking app video. So I'll just link to that at the end here and I'll leave you with this summary. It's effective, it's well designed, and it's cheaper than all the competition. At this point, it's worth saying I'm not sponsored by Macro Factors, but God damn, I would love to be. We live in a time where it's never been so easy to get out of shape. But with programming like this, it's also never been so easy to get into fantastic shape. I'm a firm believer in having a game plan, having a program as a clear goal. And I walked away from this experiment with the conclusion that Jeff Nippert's collection of tools are painstakingly well designed. They're a fantastic way of helping you achieve pretty much everyone's goal of looking more like a nerdy Canadian. Jeff Nippert's programs, apps, and books are well worth the cost. Over the eight weeks of this experiment, my waist shrunk by over an inch, my chest grew by over an inch, and my biceps grew by a half inch. I also came in with a slight size imbalance where my left bicep was smaller than my right. But after these eight weeks, I fixed that imbalance and both my biceps are now exactly the same size. Anyways, that's all I have to say about that. If you liked the video, please leave it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel if you're interested in more stuff like this. And I'll see you in two weeks for a video on how I transformed my body over the past two years.